Okay, so we have another question here from Brahmadi. Uh, Pete, your videos are really educative. Just by the way, I love compliments. So anytime you're commenting, love a good compliment, thank you. I'm handling multiple projects remotely in morning hours. We're all using Google Chat, but we're getting mixed up with different projects in different chats, different spaces. Something's three months old in a PDF format, it's getting lost. You know, what, what should we do here? And I think there may be a little bit of a misunderstanding in how you're using chat here. And I think you might be trying to do a little bit too much with chat. My recommendation for chat is that you imagine chat is like walking up to somebody's cubicle in an office and knocking on the door and saying, hey, are you available right now? Think about chat as an interruption station. You're basically gonna be barging in on someone else inside the business. And so when you do that, you're not only interrupting them, but you're basically saying, hey, what I've got for you is more important than what you're working on right now. That can work fine if you've got a small team of like two or three people and you're, a, you know, you're either a startup or an early stage business and you know, everyone's just like energy, energy, energy and, and you're all chatting to each other all day long, that's fine. But when you get to the stage of needing to actually do a bit more deep work and as it sounds like here, you've got multiple projects running at the same time, you've got multiple files for those projects, chat really isn't the most appropriate app for project management, you know, managing progression of tasks or for managing a system that has multiple steps or for delegating things to team members um, because I mean, yeah, it's got a couple of little tasky features in there, which are good for the absolute basics. But when you start running projects on a team with more than three people and you have um, either dependencies or you want to, um, you know, work on a Gantt chart or you have multiple tasks and subtasks attached to those tasks or you want some kind of reporting in there, that's where chat is just not really appropriate as a tool at all. And we actually ran a poll on our YouTube account recently and I asked people, hey, who actually uses the tasks feature inside Google Chat for their tasks. And a few people said that they use it for their personal like, you know, shopping lists and, and a few real basic things in there. Uh, but most business owners who were scaling up past an absolute, you know, early, early launch phase business said that they were using some kind of other tool for managing tasks and projects in the business. So that might be Asana, it might be Trello, it might be ClickUp, it might be uh, Basecamp, it might be Monday.com. There's a million different options for different project management and shared task management apps. Now, obviously they became very popular during the pandemic uh, because it's very important for people to be able to work effectively remotely and these tools allow you and your teams to be able to do that. Now, our recommendation is Asana. We've implemented it in literally hundreds of businesses. I'd say probably about five or 600 businesses I'm responsible for putting Asana into. We are now, we've now been uh, awarded a global partner for Asana, which is amazing. And so, you know, we're able to sell Asana licenses and give you discounts and, and all other uh, cool things as well. And we also provide professional services as well. So if you're interested in a professional implementation, we run hundreds of projects concurrently across a business that does six and a half million dollars a year in revenue and 50 employees and well multiple companies now that that i sit as chair over uh, all through asana it is a phenomenally powerful piece of technology you can you can i can show you right now in my browser all of my content that i've got um lined up to go onto the channel sits in asana and i've got all of the questions uh here that i'm reading through sitting in an asana task uh, like asana literally runs our whole business uh, now, that's my recommendation. If you want to learn more about that, head to the channel. We've got plenty of videos on Asana um, about why we think it's a great uh, fit for your business. Uh, but most importantly, to um, answer the question that's here, uh, Brahmadi, thank you very much for asking it. My recommendation would be to just use chat for the basics of chatting to your team uh, and not try and turn it too much into a file storage repository or a project management app. I think you're using the wrong tool for the job there, and I think that's why you're getting a bit stuck. But thanks for the question, that's a good one. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content, and if you need more help with your Google Workspace account, there's four ways that we can help. Number one, join our free community group where others in the community help support each other with their Google Workspace accounts, and I'm in there from time to time answering questions as well. Number two, take advantage of our free transfer in offer to get a bunch of additional value for your Workspace account just for transferring your billing over to IT Genius. 
Number three, you can take advantage of a free consultation if you qualify or an IT systems check and audit for everything technology in your business. And number four, if you need help right now, you can either join our concierge program or book a one-time fix-it service to get support from our professional support team for everything workspace and the Google ecosystem. See you in the next one.